Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Attic Diary. My name is Data. I'm an international booktuber, as you can probably tell from the title of this video. And this is a place where I talk about books and all things bookish on Wednesdays and Sundays. So let's start with the questions. First question. Where are you from and what is your native language? Well, I am from Latvia, which is this Northern Europe country, and my native language is Latvian. Next question. <laughs> question number two. In what languages do you read books? I read my books in English for like 100%. I used to also read it in Latvian, but it was a long time ago. And I may read in Latvian at some point, but right now all the books that I read are originally written in English and that's why I read them in English or they may be translations of other languages, but the English editions are still cheaper than the ones in Latvian, so of course I'm buying it in English. And I love English language and I enjoy reading in English, so as I said, I buy them in English. Recently I've come to this thought that I may try to read Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy in Russian. I don't know if I'll be able to do that, but I once read like first page of Anna Karenina in Latvian, in English and in Russian. In Latvian, I really did not enjoy that one. And I was like, is this really a classic? Then I tried it in Russian and you know, you could tell that it was originally written in Russian. And then I read it in English and I enjoyed that the most. So who knows? So question number three, is there a booktube in your native language and if so, what is the community like? No, there is no booktube community, so I can't answer the second part of the question. But in like recent two years, there has been like this growth of bookstagram accounts from Latvians. Some of them are in English, some of them are in Latvian. And I follow a lot of those and I enjoy seeing what they are reading. I even listen to podcasts that is in Latvian and they mostly read Latvian books. But then again, I can't like really relate to them because I read something totally different. So although I'm really happy that that community is finally developing, I still can't see myself as a part of that. Question number five. Are there any struggles or challenges for you as a non-native English speaker? If we talk generally about language, of course now I'm perfect, what do you mean? <laughs> but in reality, of course, I have many problems and struggles because that is not my native language and no matter how good you know it, sometimes there are times when you sit in front of a camera and do a review and finally you just your mind goes blank and you just can't remember the name or like a specific word and you're like sitting there and thinking and that's it or sometimes i would just say something out loud that i know is not correct and then i will film the sentence again because i know that was not the correct way of saying something and and also there may there have been times when I recorded it and I looked at it only like a couple of days later when I edited it and then of course I see the mistakes and I'm like oh my god because there is no opportunity for me to like sit down and film it again so I just try to cut those out and make it still work and make sense if that makes any sense question number six how do you get hold of English books I just buy them you know I've never tried stealing them, but I just earn money and buy them. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but uh, I usually buy them from online stores from the UK. Recently it's been such a struggle because the Brexit happened and we need to wait for our books more than two weeks. And there are also all these restrictions on the costs. If you order a book that is more than 22 euros, you need to pay additional costs. And, and let me tell you, no one likes them. No one likes them. Being a European booktuber these days, it's pretty hard. <laughs> Of course, we have uh, bookstores here in Latvia, a couple of them store English books, but, this, but the selection is pretty small and they are usually like the new releases or part of new releases, 
you know, like special editions or, or like book sets. Like for example, I am a Stephen King fan and I like to like collect his books with all the editions or vintage editions and there's no way for me to get them here. We have like one used bookstore that sells only English books but I think most of the time it's really overpriced and it's cheaper for me to order them from the UK and wait a little longer than go and buy them here. And there are also like a couple of charity shops that have books and you can find something there from time to time. But I haven't been able to do that since like the middle of December because our bookstores are closed and you cannot buy books, you can buy them only on the internet. But yeah, I'm doing that. Question number seven. What is the best thing about being a part of international community? You can answer in your native language and add subtitles if you want to. Well, this will be very interesting, but I'm gonna try. So. Viena no foršākajām lietām šajā visā ir tas, ka cilvēki, kas šeit nāk skatīties BookTube, šī kopiena visi mīli grāmatas, visi mīli lasīt un visi ir gatavi iesaistīties diskusijās. Vislabākā lieta šajā visā ir tas, ka mēs esam tik ļoti dažādi no dažādām pasaules malām, ar dažādu izskatu, ar dažādiem uzskatiem, dažādām kultūrām, bet mūs visas vieno šī viena lieta – grāmatas un lasīšana. Un tas ir tas, kas mums ir kopīgs. Un man liekas, tā ir tik forša lieta, ļoti nenovērtējama. Un es to tiešām ļoti, ļoti mīlu. Question number eight. Do you watch other international booktube channels? Shout out a channel that you found recently. Well, I watch a lot of international booktubers and I think most of them are very well known and they have been given shout outs in many of these videos before. But I'm gonna mention one booktuber and her name, her channel name is Mary Among Stories. I'm gonna link her down below. And if I'm not mistaken, she's from Portugal. She usually reads classics and fantasy, which both are the genres that I really love. And she's also a part of this Dark Academia book club, which she hosts with like other three booktubers or four. I think three. So yeah, please go check her out. And if you do, tell her in comments that I sent you, you know. And the question number nine, or more like a challenge or a task, is tag your fellow international booktubers. So I'm not gonna go and tag specific booktubers, but if you are international booktuber yourself and you haven't done this before, then you've been tagged. Feel free to do this tag and let me know down in the comments if you decide to do it. And also if you've done this video before, please let me know down in the comments so I can see all of you and go check you all out because I'm always happy to find new international booktubers because we can relate to each other, we have the same struggles, you know. And also other people who come watch this video, they can go down in the comments and check each other out and find new friends, find new international booktubers and build other smaller communities, you know, and build friendships and whatnot. So please do that. So I guess this is it and see you in my next video. Bye!